Hello everyone! Welcome back to this game! When we last left off, Catherine here has been turned into a doll, I assume surgically, and is stuck in this dark and creepy prison where some giant monster thing is roaming around, hopefully, free, uh, uh, hopefully uh, friendly, but don't really know. Also, we got two batteries for the flashlight, and one of them just wore out. So now we got the other battery in there, and hopefully it takes its sweet time wearing out. So we got multiple choices where we could go, it does seem that way. Prison room B. Can't get across there, there's a switch over there. Let's go ahead and head back in here. Now that the bunnies are gone, maybe they left something behind? Maybe not, though. We still need to find a plank in order to get across to one thing. Which way do I want to go, though? What was that? Prison entrance. Okay. Not okay. Not going that way. I guess we'll check out this room then. Okay, that time I saw what it was. It was a doll. This hole is shaped like a heart. A playing card, the nine of hearts. Oh, so there was a playing card that was a heart. What's this? Notes on mental illness. N Narcissistic personality disorder. Mental conditions such as narcissistic personality disorder can at times lead to homicidal I ideation? Ideation? It is advised that individuals diagnosed with this condition undergo therapy. Yeah. That would definitely explain why the cop was here. Nothing of interest in these drawers. At Dallas Carol's Diary, page 2. The murder wasn't my fault. 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 So, at Dallas Carol is accused of murder? No. A poster of the play Unker Contamin. A Dallas Carroll is the star of this play. A play where she shot and killed a fellow actor in front of 2,000 audiences. I get the feeling the gun was expected to be a prop. And it wasn't. I mean, I definitely don't blame her for that then. A plain bed, but it serves its purpose. Adela's Carol's Diary, page 3. I was framed. I know it. These actions, they can't possibly be mine. I don't remember anything. I don't remember. I just don't. So I must be innocent. Now, now I'm not so sure. By the way, there is some very light ambience in this game. 
It is probably not being picked up in the recording because I audio balanced based on the title screen and a few sound effects during the opening, which are all loud. What was that? Oh gosh. Did that cause her heart rate to go? Yep, that causes her heart rate to go up. Do not step in blood. At Dallas Carroll's Diary, page one. It was an accident. Why won't anyone believe me? I would never purposely injure anyone, let alone a close friend. Oh, this is going to cause more scare. But I wanted to investigate the hole that I can't investigate. So we didn't really find anything useful in there. What's this? A stability pill. Okay, nice to know these are uh, hanging around. I'm tempted to reload and get my heart rate back lower from that, but now let, let's go ahead and proceed real quick. Double check what exactly is up here. Would this be for progression? Well, there is another room to go into. Can't go to the right for whatever reason. The gate is locked. Hmm, I wonder if there's a way to open this. Security Gate B. I would like to point out the big hulking beast wound up going in that direction. Okay, let's head down first. Nice to know the green goop on the floor doesn't cause her heart rate to go up. Oh, can't go in there. So that leaves only one option then. A map of the facility. I can use it to navigate my way out. Okay, then. Um, not entirely helpful. I can only assume we are in the East Wing. Specifically, the prison on the first floor. Wait. Stockholm's is private research. I don't understand. Is this father's doll factory? Catherine can closely observe certain items by selecting them in her inventory. For example... The map, then? Yep. Where, it's worth, then, seeing if we can check on anything else. We're collecting a bunch of cars. Don't know what those are going to be for. So the speed pill gives one brief adrenaline rush, but again, probably increases heart rate, so going to hold off on that. What the adrenaline rush will even help with, I don't even know. The computer won't turn on. Monitor a power supply, current power usage zero. I can change the power consumption on this computer. Hmm, how much should I allocate? This is a puzzle. A short story about a girl's journey through a land of wonder. The trash can is empty. The screen shows the current amount of power being consumed. Total power consumption is 0%. Are we going to want to find a way to add these up to 100? Ooh, fire extinguisher. The smell of alcohol is unbearable. 
or maybe maybe that they're wine bottles. Notice if the if power usage is at 100%, automatic lock system for security gate A and B will be deactivated. That sounds like a flaw in a security system, if you ask me. But we'll take it. Nothing of interest in these drawers. So far, the the glowy doors are the ones of interest. But it's worth checking these anyway. Ooh, what about this? Is this another lantern we could possibly use? Guess not. The computer won't turn on. So we need to get these... Let's just set these to max. See if anything happens when I do that. I'm sure I need to get it to exactly 100, but... Error! Error! Illegal power setting at 174%. I'm surprised that doesn't drain the power for the security system. Okay, how about then? Let's set these at the lowest amounts as a baseline. And we'll figure out how much more we need and go from there. 22%. We definitely got a ways to go. We could probably increase C's. Although it wouldn't surprise me if 1% is exactly where we want. Let's try the third option on each. I know that won't be the solution. But it'll give me an idea of how big or how small I might want to put each one at. Hundred eighteen percent. Is there some way I can subtract eighteen percent? As a matter of fact. Warning! Warning! Power supply malfunctioning! Unlocking security gate A and B! Huzzah! So that means we can now go this way when we find ourselves another save point. So these mission... How many saves we've done... More importantly, our location, which is definitely useful information to have. I wouldn't mind if the save information also told us what our current heart rate is. Ooh, what's this? A long wooden board. Looks quite sturdy. Oh, we need that. This is a stairway up. You're going to want to take advantage of that. So we got ourselves the wooden board that we need in order to get across over there. Is there... Anything else? By the way, as far as I'm aware, there is no run button. We'd probably need the speed pills for that. Right, that was locked. And there was a pit in the room down here. Oh, gosh! Hmm. 
not going to cheat too much, but as long as I'm, like, right by the save point. You know, it's probably a good thing we can't run. Last thing I want to do is accidentally run straight into something that I would regret. I don't think there's anything else in here. So... Uh, we need more blankets for those blood stains. This wooden board should make a decent bridge. <laughs> that that is uh, such a generic RPG maker graphic. An old diary. Henry is a good boy. Henry does what mommy tells him to, bringing friends home to play with and punishing them with mommy's knife if they are naughty. How disturbing. Let me guess. This is Henry's room. It's locked, though. It's strange that there is nobody around. You know, I was thinking kind of the same thing, although I was thinking more along the lines of all the holes that are around here. Kind of makes me wonder how long you've been here. That was a mouse. Good news is your heart rate didn't go up. You know, you were in a train accident. Maybe you were so badly damaged that you had to be stitched back together. A list of prisoners and their holding cells. Okay, we are absolutely going to want to write this stuff down. So let's see here. Room A, Henry Friedrich. Room B, Adelis Carroll. Room C, Elizabeth Lockhart. Room D, Charlotte. Lawrence. So they aren't all female. Room E. Elias Road. I'm writing the room letters down first for easy reference. Room F. Fleur Blank. Room G. Haley Mason, Room H, Sebastian Brandt. My name is not on here. That's reassuring. What's this? Bottles of medication with the label Busperone? Not important, though. Security gate 8. Oh, this is open now. Watch out for blood. Warden room 8. That's not a thing. Another save point there. Prison room F. This would be Fleur's. Well, let's go ahead and head in here first, then.
Name Fleur Blank, age 19, prisoner ID 7391. That definitely sounds important. Okay. Also, I heard a click whenever I clicked over to my... Well, not a click, more like a page turn. Whenever I clicked over to my notes, does that mean that the game registered that click? Yep. You know how this game has mouse support? Apparently, mouse clipping progresses dialogue, and so whenever I, uh... Brought back the game window, it registered that as a button prompt and kept going. Getting the feeling maybe this game shouldn't have had mouse support. Although there's probably going to be a puzzle somewhere where mouse support is actually required. Rejected by her mother, tormented by her peers, and betrayed by her husband, the once gentle nature of the beautiful girl faded into nothingness. And from that arose vengeance and ruthlessness. Playing card in the Ten of Spades. A mesmerizing picture of the White Rose. A dead plant with a message in it. Her heart fills with void as madness consumes her. The once charming white rose has turned completely black. A bouquet of red roses. Multiple corpses painted the lovely white rose red. Okay, am I going to want to paint it Red or black? Is this another thing that's going to scare me? What was that? Oh? A spool of thread. Very useful for sewing. Gross. So much blood. At least that blood doesn't cause her heart rate to go up. Shells are empty and nothing of interest in these drawers. So somehow we're going to want to do something to that rose. We're either going to want to paint it red or paint it black. Well, considering painting it red involves blood and she's quite against blood, probably black. Although, who knows? Maybe we'll have to do both of them. In any case, we're going to go ahead and head into our second episode break of today's stream. And when we come back, we'll proceed downward through the hallway and find who knows what. <laughs> 